Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another episode of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions about Photoshop Elements. Today's question comes in through our Facebook page from Carrie, and Carrie wants to know how to create what she calls a mock photo. Uh, I had her send me an example, so I'm going to show you that. So basically a mock photo is this yellow area is her content. Uh, but the frame is fake, the brick wall is fake, all that other stuff is fake. She just wants to put her content inside of something that looks like a frame uh, that looks like it's hanging on a wall. So Carrie, let's go show you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to use this photo of my dog Penny. And I've got some photos of some bricks uh, that I found on a free website uh, on the internet. Um, so what we want to do is uh, take these bricks. Uh, put a frame hanging on them, and then uh, drop the penny, the photo of Penny uh, into the frame. So the first thing that we want to do is create a new file. So I'm going to do File, New, Blank File, and I get a bunch of options. Uh, what I want to do is just pick uh, maybe the photo document type, uh, pick a size. I don't know what size you want it to be printed out at, but uh, let's just pick 8 by 10 and uh, set our resolution. The default here would be 300 pixels per inch, which is a good size uh, for printing. And then just hit OK. That will create a new blank document. Uh, first thing we, we want to do is put our bricks in our new document. And I do that just by dragging and dropping uh, onto this new document. Uh, if you don't see these photos down along the bottom, this is called the photo bin. Just go ahead and click on this little icon here in the very bottom left, and that will open and close the photo bin. And by default, the photo bin shows all the files that you currently have open. So with your uh, photo of your bricks open, uh, but your blank file that we just created selected, just drag and drop your bricks onto your blank file. Now the bricks are, the photo of the bricks is smaller than the blank file we just created. So using the move tool, that's this tool right here, uh, click on your bricks and then click on one of the four corners and drag it out. So we want to drag that out, uh, kind of move it to the bottom and then drag one of the top corners up so that we've got our bricks filling our image completely, something like that. When you're done sizing it and moving uh, as you want, this little green check mark will commit uh, the changes that you made. So go ahead and click the green check mark, and that'll lock in your new resized bricks inside uh, your new document. Okay, next thing that we want to do, of course, is drop a frame on top of uh, our brick wall. Uh, over here on the bottom right is an icon labeled Graphics. Go ahead and click on Graphics. And then at the top of the Graphics panel, make sure By Type is selected in the first pull-down. And then make sure Frames is selected in the second pull-down. And you see there are a whole bunch of frame styles that ship with Photoshop Elements. And you can scroll through until you find a frame style that's interesting to you. Uh, I'll just go ahead and grab, um, I don't know, maybe this one right here, black gold. Uh, click on that. And uh, if you've never used it before, it first has to be downloaded uh, off of a server. Um, but once you download it once, you never have to download it again. So that's gone ahead and dropped a frame onto our brick wall. And then you can see some instructions in the middle of the frame. Click here to add a photo. If you click there, it'll open up your uh, file browser like that. And you can navigate around and find a photo. Um, or what I want to do is not that, since I already have the photo of Penny open, I just want to drag and drop Penny up and drop her right there on that frame. And now I've got that photo of Penny inserted into the frame. I've got a little slider where I can fine tune things. So if I want to zoom in and get more of a portrait shot, I can do that. I can drag her down a little bit and even make her a little bit bigger. So we've got kind of a nice close up of Penny the Wonder Dog. Again, when I'm done positioning Penny inside the frame, just click that little green check mark and it'll go ahead and commit those changes. If I want to come back and rearrange Penny again inside the frame, I can just double click her and I get those controls back. So maybe I made her too big or not big enough. Um, up to you to get things sized exactly as you want them. Go ahead and get it positioned as you want. Uh, click the green check mark uh, and you're good to go. 
So there you go. That's how you would create uh, a mock uh, photo, uh, basically where you take some of your content, in this case, the picture of my dog Penny, uh, add a fake frame around it using the built-in frames inside Photoshop Elements, and then putting it on top of a, uh, a brick wall, uh, in this case, uh, just a photo that we dragged in. I'll switch back to the Layers panel so you can see everything that's going on here. We've got um, a layer group, which is our frame with the photo of Penny in it. Uh, we've also got a layer that is our brick wall, and then we've just got a blank layer which was created. Uh, we don't, need, don't actually need that. Uh, we can click on it and drag it to the trash. And that's how the document is built up. At this point, I can save it out uh, in many different formats if I need it as a JPEG uh, or a PNG or a TIFF or whatever file format I might need uh, uh, this file in uh, to upload it, share it, print it, whatever uh, I might need to do. So hope that helps. Uh, thanks for asking the question. Feel free to ask more questions on uh, our Facebook page, and we may do another tutorial for you. Have a great day. Take care.